Hi there, it's Ginger Bratzel. Great to be with you where we talk about uh, business strategies for your service-based business, your service provider business uh, every week. And we dive into a different topic. And all week I've been teasing, if you've been part of our 60-day sprint, about deadlines and timing and how important um, those components are. And they just kind of uh, uh, top of our mind sometimes, but they don't get top of our action. And I. Uh, Deadlines are so, so, so important. And the reason I can demonstrate that to you, I said I'd prove it to you, is without a deadline, nothing gets done. And if you need to write something down, that's the, the key for you. For us in our own lives, if we don't have it written down as a deadline, it won't get done because there's so many other distractions. For our customers, our prospects, if there's uh, a deadline, it won't get done. So, you know, deadlines, to prove it, if we didn't have a deadline for April 15th, nobody would want to pay, pay their taxes. Um, most people wouldn't want to pay their taxes. Uh, if um, For my kids, if they didn't have a deadline when homework was due, they would never do it. it. It's just a motivating factor. Appointments and schedules are a type of time deadline that we have a commit with, with somebody to make things, to help them get done. So uh, deadlines are really, really important for making it happen. But when we think about our business, and I want you to put this in perspective, as a service provider, as a service-based business, your most precious resource, and I can guarantee most people don't act this way, but your most precious resource, your most precious currency is the currency of time. Because what you do as a service-based provider in a service-based business, you are selling your expertise and the unit of uh, currency you use is time. So when somebody comes out for a service call, they might have a checklist, they did X, Y, and Z, but it's all figured on a basis of time because that is the, what you're getting. You're exchanging what I know to do solve a problem for you to resolve something or to give you something you want to like or need. When you commission an artist, they're not selling a painting, you're buying the currency of time. So you have to be really respectful of time in your own mind, but also if framing it. And we don't use uh, deadlines as a strong arm to hurt people or manipulate people. It's always with authenticity, uh, true passion, compassion um, to make that happen for you and going through. So if you're a salon, you might provide hair care services and maybe not, not might, you do. You provide uh, haircuts, you provide um, color treatments. You have tools and, and resources and some supplies to provide it, but what we're getting from it is what you know and can do that nobody else can do. If you're a dentist, it's not you're selling a filling or a crown or a cap. You are selling your expertise and time for that attention to do it. And you might have team members that help you with it and employees that help you with it, but you're selling their unit of time too for their unique training and making that happen. If you're a realtor, it's not a compensation you're selling. It's your expertise in the market and to provide a service to get that house bought or sold and make it easy for the your customer on the other end. You know, if you are a consultant, you're selling your expertise and what you know to help somebody in some part of their life. So keep that in mind. So we got to use that deadline. We got to got to use that deadline to making that happen. So um, as I alluded to, deadlines are appointments and our schedules and things like that. But uh, for deadlines, you should have deadlines in your quotes, in your estimates with, on, with compassion and transparency. But if you give someone estimate to do something, you're not trying to manipulate them into doing something unethically, but it's like this is not a never ending offer. You know, if I, as a dentist, gave you a plan to fix your teeth and you come back 20 years later, that's not valid anymore. So we have to have that deadline to make it happen. And so when we discuss that with people, we're very open and upfront and said, you know, this is what we anticipate. I can honor this for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days. No pressure if this is what you want to do. We're here to help you, but I just need to be upfront with you and you understand that. And that opens up the thing, hey, I need to do this. When people have too many decisions, they don't make a decision. And the same way when they have an open end, they don't make a decision. When you make an offer in your marketing, um, you're making some um, promotion. If it's not have a, doesn't have a deadline, then it goes in the refrigerator and they forget it for six months to a year until it falls off. It has to have a deadline making it. So all deadlines should be authentic. They should be transparent. They should not be manipulative. It come from a, a heart-based compassion level. And it's just helping people, um, if that's what they want to do, 
to get off the fence and make that happen, but also covering your butt and making that happen too. Because you are in a business now. We don't know if you're going to be be business in 10 years. We hope so. Or 20 years from now when they decide to do it. And we always say, if this doesn't resonate with you, if you need more time, we understand that. We, we don't want you to make a decision you don't feel comfortable with. We're just putting some guidelines on. I can give you this offer at this point. I can give you this estimate at this point. But beyond that, then we'll have to go back and we'll, we'll have to reevaluate. So it just helps people making that happen. And if you do it with uh, from a heart place business, you will make that happen for your doing. So that's what we're talking about this week. I promise I was going to address deadlines. Um, we're going to be talking about time. We're going to talk about um, making things happen in our 60 day sprint. But this was our big lesson for today. And just your big lesson for this week is where you should have deadlines and what deadlines you need to be making with yourself. If you're going to do something, if you're going to work with somebody to improve your business, you need to have a deadline. I want to do it by 30 days. I want to do it by the end of the year. I need to have that conversation with them now that we're going to make that happen. That's what we do with our clients and just um, give them a timetable so we know when we can give them our full attention and give them everything they need to. So that's your mission today is um, evaluate deadlines, see where you can impart it. You need help putting deadlines in as far as your offers and building urgency in um, your offers and your presentations to do it authentically and want to get over that and the scriptings and the wording and all the little things that nuances that's something we can help you with reach out well, let's talk about that and we'll see um, have a get a coin a call and discuss that for your business hey this is ginger this is your big lesson for the week and i appreciate you being here and we're here to help you in your service-based business take care